All right, thanks for tuning in to <laughs> Leading Forecasting. <laughs> totally got this thing done and went the preview. It made sure it was okay. And notice that my microphone and earpiece was plugged into the wrong ports on the computer. So I spent, you know, several minutes doing this and <laughs> realized that they were not in the right ports. So we couldn't understand. All you can see is me drawing on the map. Anyways, let's get on over it because we do have some interesting stuff to talk about here. Uh, here's some showers across the uh, central portion of the country. Uh, most of these are probably going to start, especially these here, are going to start to uh, wind down as they move east. They're going to, once they encounter this atmosphere into Illinois here, uh, a lot drier. So these will kind of probably die out. You know, they're going to use all their oomph to try to moisten the atmosphere so they can rain more, but it's not going to happen. Going on over slight risk today, we do have that slight risk out across. Uh, Minnesota, and we'll tell you why main risk is going to be uh, damaging winds and some small hail today. Uh, we do have the sea text out across the central plains here. Tomorrow, we have a slight risk out across Nebraska, northeast Colorado, northwest uh, Kansas. Again, damaging winds and large hail and sea text down across this area. And then Thursday, we have a slight risk out across the uh, central plains once again. And again, damaging winds, large hail. Might see a couple isolated. Uh, weak tornadoes on Thursday. We'll have to wait and see how that one plays out. Going over to the forecast models, here's today. Uh, this is by later on, low pressure system sitting up in Canada, and it's dragging cold front with it, and as it does, those thunderstorms break out up across Minnesota, and then here's your little complex of showers and or rain and thunderstorms coming into um, uh, Iowa and western Illinois uh, by later on this afternoon. Going on over tomorrow, you can see a few thunderstorms start to break out across this area. Nothing too major, just a little bit of a, a wave, a little bit of a system coming through. And then as we get into Thursday afternoon, here's your showers and thunderstorms breaking out here across the slight risk area. Uh, we got a little bit of low coming in. We'll have a little bit of a uh, troughiness at 500 millibar. That'll give the atmosphere enough oomph to get some thunderstorms going, but I don't think we'll see anything you know, super impressive. But definitely some linear stuff as we get into Thursday. Going on over to the tropics. Tropics are going to really start heating up over the next, you know, several couple of weeks. And I mean, look at this. You got Gert here. You got a system here. A system here. You got a system here. You got a system back here. You know, it's just it's a train. They're they're coming after each other. And, and the thing is, you know, Gert came out here and really went off this way. Um, but we're really going to see these push this way. Uh, forecast models trending down across the Yucatan with this one. And then we'll watch probably this system back here will be your next player. And, uh, you know, model's really trending it up somewhere up in this direction, and we'll show you that. Here's the GFS. This is by uh, this upcoming Sunday. Here's your system down here. This is a tropical storm, probably. And it's really starting to form. And as we get into Tuesday, that next Tuesday, which will be the 23rd, uh, here's your tropical storm or hurricane. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, down here coming over Haiti and the Dominican Republic, um, bringing with it a very, very heavy rains. Uh, this is as we get into Friday. You know, we're jumping on the hurricane forecasting boat here. Everybody's like, oh, well, where's it going to go? Uh, really coming down, hitting Miami is a pretty, pretty good looking hurricane. And then it goes out into the Gulf. This is by early morning Sunday, making landfall um, somewhere in Mobile, Pensacola, over to Gulfport, even over towards New Orleans, really targeting that that central Gulf Coast. I don't know that I'm a big fan of this forecast. We'll have to wait and see because, you know, we're looking at it here coming across this area, then back up across here. Usually when it gets over into this area, these two areas, uh, usually what it'll do um, will come through, you know, come up through here and end up getting taken up the East Coast instead of actually cutting across and going across here into the Gulf. I mean, obviously, Andrew did go across the peninsula and into the Gulf, but but the way the high pressure is coming in, you know, you can see these lines coming in through here. Uh, makes me think it'll probably ride around and go up the East Coast. So places like uh, Miami, all the way up to Savannah, and then into, um, you know, Myrtle Beach and up to North Carolina and places like that will be the ones under the gun potentially. So, you know, there's always a first time or, you know, I won't say a first time for everything, but there's always that rarity that a hurricane will do something that it normally doesn't do. So really, everybody just needs to be on their toes about this one. A lot of the forecast models picking up on this storm, so it makes me think there's probably a pretty decent chance that this one's going to pan out, regardless of how strong or weak it is. So 
anyways, that's really all I have for today. Um, hopefully my mo microphone's plugged in this time. And um, so anyways, that's all I have. Uh, have a great week. Uh, you can view this on swiftchaseteam.com or thedailyforecast.net. See you later.